This is Scott Welsh, Muscle Insider Magazine. We are doing a live supplement review with Supplement Source CEO Dan Kennedy for All Max's nope. Muscle EAA. So this is boom, as uh, Mark Lobiner would say. Exactly. Hold on. Look at this. We got to do the little <laughs> pop a little bit there too, right? Make the pecs. I like it. I like it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, Speaking of which, did you see the size of this shaker, man? <laughs> that this is like the biggest shaker I've ever seen. This is yeah, yeah, I say. and uh, well, we're going to get into that. So listen, we've got a review, Muscle EAA. What do, what is your initial feelings once you've got this? Uh, obviously, you see everything in the industry coming across the supplements, uh, supplementsource.ca website. But uh, what did you think when you first saw the formula? Formula is great. It was one of those things like it's all Max has come to the market now with a, with an EAA product and we liked it because we were asking for one for a while. Well, not that long because EAAs, EAAs are relatively new. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I just like supporting all Max and they came out with a, a great formula. They just really hit it out of the ballpark with that one. Yeah, I can't. Um, I mean, uh, you said that best of EAAs are, are relatively new, especially in Canada. Uh, BCA market really dominates it. And a lot of yeah. these people have sort of said, you know what, um, can I just take BCAs if I'm taking EAAs or should I replace my BCA with an EAA? So we're going to get into a bit of that today. But um, I just want to get into first for some of the people out there exactly what EAAs are. For those of you who are not as familiar with EAAs, you have 20 amino acids that make up all of the amino acids in your body. Now, amino acids make up your hair. In my case, I don't have any, but Dan's case, he has some. Your skin, your muscle tissue, eyeballs, every cell, your enzymes, uh, you make hormones, neurotransmitters, everything is made from amino acids that way. And you have 20 different amino acids that your body needs. Now, out of that, you actually have nine that your body cannot make. And those are called essential amino acids. And then you have a, another group of what are called conditionally essential amino acids. And those are during extreme cases of trauma, extreme dieting, perhaps extreme overtraining, or, uh, you know, just conditions where your body cannot manufacture these themselves. Those are non-conditionally essential. So those are conditionally essential. And then there's non-essential, which your body can just make freely. So we're most interested now in the essential amino acids, those nine that are there. So, um, have I left out anything on there that you can think of with the basics of um, the 20 amino acids and then the nine that make up the AAs? No, no, I think you got it uh, uh, right down. Okay. Now, the ones that out of those nine, three of those are branch chain amino acids, the leucine, yeah. the leucine, valine. We all know leucine is getting a lot of, has gotten a lot of publicity over the years probably considered to be the most important, but the BCAs are three of the six. But out of that, you also have histidine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, and uh, tryptophan, which is often uh, very high in turkey, makes you feel tired if you have too much of it on its own. But anyways, going on to now, uh, there's a sort of a, some stuff all over YouTube, which obviously this video is going to be on YouTube about all muscle building stops when you're missing one of those amino acids. Now, that is partially true at a cellular level. Your body needs to have all of the different amino acids that it needs to construct new tissues. And if you're missing one of those, then in the ribosomes inside your cells, those that, you know where the machinery is that's making protein tissues like muscles, you are going to halt that. But obviously, taking products like this eating complete amino acid profile, protein powders like Isoflex from Allmax and some other great companies make, then you're obviously going to get those essential amino acids. But the important thing is, is that to maximize recovery, you never want to have any deficiencies in any of those nine amino acids because that's just going to foster better recovery, faster muscle building, et cetera, which we'll get into. So now going through this, Dan, can you take the fans through exactly when you would use a product like Muscle EAA, what are the best times? Well, I think a lot of guys in the past have used branch chain amino acids as an intro workout. And what we're seeing now, um, just through coaches and what we're hearing from our customers is um, that's basically a thing of the past. Most of the guys are moving more to EAAs um, during their workouts. So 
you know, like put the BCAs down. Just let's face it, when you look at the formula for the EAAs, the BCAs are in the EAAs. That's right. So that's kind of the thing that a lot of people just don't understand. So why not grab the BCAs and then have a little bit extra, which is what the EAAs provide. You know, the muscle EA has got a great formula. Um, the, the taste is phenomenal. Um, and it's it's not an overpowering taste or like a sticky type of taste. So it's ideal for intro workout. So, you know, normally in the past, if you had a really sicky one, you'd have to add more and more and more water to it to just to water it down. But I find with the, the recommended 500 mils um, in one scoop, you get a good consistency and it's not overwhelming in the gym. Now, let's talk about non-training days, because obviously you've seen it. Milo Sarsev sort of started that whole load up your body with essential amino acids during training. John Meadows was a big proponent of EAAs intramuscularly, or intra-workout, sorry. What um, is your experience as obviously a coach out there? What are you looking at in terms of EAAs on training days versus non-training days? You know, I, I am a big believer in what Milos brought to the market, you know, years ago. I think he was probably the first one really to come out with the, the aminos during the workout, or at least to really publicize it. And of course, John Meadows, everyone knows, you know, his his reputation in the industry is uh, second to none. Um, EAs, definitely during workouts. Um, for non-workout days, I personally would take them, and what our, con our customers are telling us at Supplement Source, that's EA, they're telling us they take them first thing in the morning uh, on non-training days. Um, if you were gonna do cardio on those days, or any day, it's another good add-on too. So pre-cardio, you may want to add some essential amino acids into the mix there and uh, and just take it before, sip on it during um, your cardio session. But definitely when you get up in the morning on your non-training days is when I would take mine. And the reason for that is because when you fast it all night, you haven't eaten anything, you're obviously your amino acid levels are right. going to be lower in the morning. And something like a whey isolate is going to take between one to three hours to digest, depending on the level of hydrolyzation. Uh, the, obviously, that has happened within the, the product. Um, I hope hydrolyzation, that sounded pretty good, but uh, basically <laughs> the process- We're using big words now. I know, I know, it's like space <laughs> level. Um, anyways, uh, the degree of hydrolysis that is in the protein will determine how fast those amino acids are digested because the hydrolyzing of a, of a protein actually breaks apart off these amino acids. So first thing in the morning, great time. You may not have an appetite for taking that first thing in the morning, but hey, you know what? You can't eat for taste. You gotta eat for performance when it comes to the gains, right? Yeah, 100%. And you know what? It's not that heavy on you. So if you're one of those guys that is, is not a morning or breakfast person, um, I, I find it's, it's, it's not a big deal to, to sip on, you know, the muscle EA in the morning just to kind of get your system going. Um, I did want to bring up another point too. Uh, ideal for me uh, and, and other guys too in, in a situation similar to mine. Um, I recently tore my quad uh, and I'm just recovering now. So I'm about 10 weeks into it. So what I do every day is I basically just sip on it throughout the whole day um, just to ensure I've got that constant supply of uh, uh, essential amino acids. So I think it's, it's been a help because it is, it does seem to be a little bit different than when I tore my rotator cuff. Mm -hmm. um, the recovery seems to be a little bit better. Um, the way that I kind of do it, it's a little, it's just a little bit different. I actually use one of those carbonation products. So the one that I use is called Drink Mate. Um, but I'm sure everyone else has seen, what's that one called, that Canadian Tire Cells? It, it, uh, it, you add the carbonation to the water okay. and it makes it like a sparkling fizzy drink. That's how I take mine. Um, the reason why I use Drink Mate is I'll mix the product up, the, the muscle EA with water, first shake it, and then carbonate it. Whereas with the one that they, they sell in Canada here, the, car, the Canadian Tire version, um, you have to carbonate and then mix. And it doesn't always uh, blend so well when you're doing that. It's just harder to, to mix it once it's already, already carbonated. So I prefer the Muscle EAs, just sipping on it throughout the day as a carbonated drink. That's a cool tip. I like that. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. in terms of these muscle tears, I see a pattern here. We got torn rotator <laughs> cuffs, we got torn quads. You know what? Uh, you're still keeping it hardcore. And that's, uh, if you're tearing muscles, uh, you know, that's, that's a, sometimes a good a sign that you're still going as hard as you used to. So that's yeah, saying. well, I wish I could say I was squatting 600 in the gym, but it was a slip on ice that did it. So at least Evan Santapani and myself have something in common. And Branch Warren, I think he... Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we talk a lot about leucine, isoleucine, valine. 
people at home, leucine has got uh, obviously properties of building muscle, but it's also involved in wound healing and blood sugar regulation, uh, hemoglobin production. So transporting oxygen to working muscles. Leucine's got all kinds of uh, factors there. There's three grams inside muscle EAA of the leucine. So I'm really happy to see that. Isoleucine, uh, obviously is uh, energy regulation. They got 600 milligrams of here. Immune function as well. A lot of things uh, people don't realize isoleucine is involved in immunity, which now with COVID and everything else like that, who knew that BCAs could actually support a healthy immune system. So that's kind of cool to see that. Veiling, yeah. stimulating growth, of course, all the BCAs do that and is involved in energy production. So then they got 600 milligrams. What's really important always when you're looking at BCA is try to find one with isoleucine and valine at a one-to-one -one ratio. And then the leucine, obviously, you want to have as high of a level as you can up to a point. Um, but, you know, obviously, you have to balance that with the other amino acids that are here. And what I like about um, muscle EAA is they didn't just arbitrarily put the nine amino acids at whatever level that they wanted to. There was some thought put into how each of these amino acids balances to each other and their body's needs. And the, the tryptophan example that I gave earlier they actually only have 50 milligrams of tryptophan in here because if you have too much tryptophan, you can actually feel tired from taking this. So it wasn't just arbitrarily uh, arrived at. So um, glad to see that. Um, now, look getting, getting back to the ratios there too, Scott, I don't mean to interrupt, but standard in the industry is a two to one to one. I think that's what all the studies were done on. So the, the leucine to isoleucine to valine, so two to one to one. All max. Uh, no, I've seen them as high as 10 to 1 to 1, and I think that's a little bit overkill. Mm -hmm. uh, but Allmax has kind of done a good compromise, and it just really ensure that you're going to get the, the best bang for your buck. Theirs is a 5 to 1 to 1 ratio. So, Yeah. Now, going through the other six essential amino acids, you have phenylalanine. You see this a lot on labels. This is a precursor to the um, neurotransmitters like tyrosine, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine. So that's why it's great for these kind of reasons to help increase the you know, mental focus and clarity. And a lot of people are really big into that. Uh, also with a post contest dieting and things like that, a lot of people screw up their, their, um, the, you know, their endorphins and, and all of their, their serotonin, dopamine, all these different neurotransmitters, these feel good hormones. So it's important that um, these kind of essential amino acids provide precursors to these, uh, these ingredients in your body, these substances in your body. Threonine was involved in collagen. So this is actually interesting because collagen is very hot in your store. I'm sure you guys sell a lot of collagen, obviously for the, the skin and the hair and all of those different properties to it. It's also found widely in protein bars. It provides a lot of the softness that you see. You'll see it under gelatin or collagen. Um, the different names that they'll see coming out with that. But what's great is that um, the tryptophan is actually a precursor uh, to, uh, so, sorry, threonine is a precursor to collagen and is involved in actually immune system function as well and fat metabolism. Uh, methionine uh, detoxification uh, is involved in tissue growth as, as all the EAAs are. But what's also interesting is it's involved in uh, helping the absorption of zinc and selenium. And zinc is very important for testosterone function. Mm -hmm. And selenium is really important for insulin function and blood sugar stabilization. So really interesting. And they've got 300 milligrams of methionine. Two more, lysine. We've got that uh, protein synthesis, collagen formation. There's also enzyme and hormone function. So um, they've got 1,250 milligrams of that. So it's very high dose of lysine. Uh, but that's actually involved in sleep-wake cycles, sexual function. Who knew that it's involved in actual sex drive? This one EAA is, but that's absolutely um, how it goes. Histidine is a precursor to helping produce uh, histamine, which is a neurotransporter involved in uh, immune response. So wide assortment of benefits for the EAAs. But um, let's get into Allmax themselves because you've been dealing with them before you got involved in Supplement Source to now, they're obviously one of your best-selling uh, product lines. Tell me a bit about Allmax and what people at home may not know. Uh, well, I think everyone should know, or, or maybe they don't. In Canada, Allmax is easily um, uh, Canada's number one supplement brand. Um, they do cover a lot of bases. I don't really think they're lacking anything. You know, they branched out recently with their collagen you know, which you, you would never think you really see that from a sports supplement company, um, but they they do it, and it's actually a very a very good seller for us. 
Um, like I said, too, they've come out with the muscle EAA. So the, I think they've really, I don't want to say stepped up their game because they are at the top of the game. But they've raised the bar for a lot of other companies to follow in Canada. Um, and I think they do very well worldwide, too. I'm not 100% sure how they do outside, but I just can't see them, them faltering outside Canada just because, like I said, they're number one in Canada. Our sales are through the roof, and they're always increasing. It's never a dip in sales from those guys. Uh, and quality products. Like, you know, what I like is it's a cautious, cutting-edge approach to formulating products. So they're not the guys that jump on the bandwagon with the, the flavor of the month supplement. Um, and, it, it, you know, it's gone in a couple of months. They watch the trends. They watch the market. They follow the research. And from there, they make the products that uh, – that Canadians know and love. Um, oh, their innovative approach is another version, another thing I'd, I'd written down. Um, we talked about it last time when we when we spoke about meal prep. Uh, I really like their scoop block technology. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and the crazy thing about it, too, is you just don't realize how much you just throw that scoop into the bottle. you you got to remember, oh, I can put it on the top now, and then I won't be searching for it later, and it's like a, almost like a habit you've got to break, eh? So... Um, I, I like that they're looking outside the box. You know, they're not just looking at the formulas themselves, but they're looking for an all-encompassing product that really, really sets itself apart uh, from the other competition. Um, flavoring system, it's phenomenal. Like, you know, great. I haven't heard anyone say, oh, I don't like the taste of this all match product. Like, they really hit it out of the park with those ones. Um, transparent formulas, they're moving to that. Um, you're really not going to see that uh, proprietary blend stuff anymore. Like a lot of companies have gone that route. All Max is certainly leading the way in that. Um, and I think you're going to mention it later, but a lot of their products have moved to informed choice. Yeah. And for us, it's a huge category to have that drug-free certification on there because we deal with a lot of uh, youth hockey players. We deal with a lot of college football players. Um, these are the guys that want the drug-free products and, you know, the informed choice that Allmax has chosen to, uh, to, to, to work with and ensure their products are safe and, and drug-free. Uh, it, it's the way to go. Great. You know what? You mentioned global. These guys, I mean, it's hard to understand. You go in the United States, you see them all over the place. Yeah. You go to Canada, you, see, you can't really go to a store and see them. And they have different products for different consumers. So you may see a mainstream consumer at a mainstream channel with a product like that. Then you can see a serious, you know, supplement consumer who wants the best in performance going to supplementsource.ca and seeing a wide selection of these products. But I've been all over the world and seen these products. I've been to Malaysia and seen them there. I've seen them over in um, England, all over England. They're huge in England. A big yeah. in Germany, all through Germany. I went to Malaysia, saw them there. I saw them, where the hell was I? Oh, yeah, I was over the border in China, okay? Oh, I was in Macau, which is an island that's a lot like Vegas. That's in um, just near Hong Kong. So I'm all through Hong Kong. Then I saw them in, in um, Macau. Then I went over the border into mainland China. Saw them everywhere. I saw stores that had aquariums with, like, like literally turtles inside these stores. And you see so many supplements there because it's just a very different world. And then you see All Max, All Max, All Max in China, man, huge, huge, huge. And uh, it just speaks volumes. So what's kind of cool about this is when you see Isoflex, you're used to seeing it at home. And then you can go there and like, oh, it's, it's here too. But a lot of times we in Canada or in the United States, we think, oh, yeah, you know, this is a brand here. I saw them at the Olympia. I went to the Toronto Pro Show and I got the autograph of Steve Kuklo. He was there. I got my Isoflex or my A Cuts sample. You don't know. There's people all over the world using A Cuts and Isoflex and these kind of brands. So um, I don't well, know. Quality, quality you know, thinks for itself. And that's what people want, right? They want good products and, and all Max delivers. And, you know, while you were talking about that, I just stopped thinking like, Every Instagram post that I see that is like inside a supplement store, there's always All Max on the shelf. Always. Like it's, it's crazy. And you would never think that from a Canadian brand. You know, it, it's, well, they're number one in Canada. So obviously other countries are going to take notice. Yeah. This is something for the people at home. All Max is the number one selling Canadian owned supplement company. Yeah. That's hard to believe because people just think of them as just Canadian, but these guys are massive. But uh, anyway, you mentioned Scoop Block. 
obviously very very cool technology one of the things you want to do with with any supplement is you want to shake it steal it and shake it and the reason you want to do that with your protein or your gainer or your eaa product is you want to make sure that the precipitation of the ingredients the formulas have different densities each ingredient density, has a different yeah. density so it's going to sink to the bottom more at different levels depending on how heavy some of the substances are so to get a uniform consistency of your product you want to shake it up and then serve it so in this case with the take the scoop out set it down shake it up re-scoop it but really good and very important in pre-workouts if you want to have your you know your caffeine and hydrous will sit at a different level than your beta alanine so if you're sitting wondering why hey my last scoop of it burns my body or something like that burns my throat in maybe your pre-workout it could be because you weren't shaking it throughout the use and these things settle when they're shipping they're settling they're vibrating inside trucks so the density it gets shoved down to the bottom so yeah. anyway enough about that let's go to the specs obviously here we've got um seven grams of eaas can you run through the specs for the people at home sure we have seven grams of eaas per serving um, of which then there's 4.2 grams of branched chain amino acids. You're looking at 30 servings, 30 servings for, uh, for one of those containers. Um, right now, supplement source, uh, I guess the manufacturer suggests retail price around $44.99 um, at supplement source because we're doing the little video here. We're going to have a little, <laughs> okay, we're going to do that later. We're going to do that later. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll say that later. No, but anyways, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 regular no, 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 price, $44.95. Don't tell, don't tell all Max. We're going to let it go, $33.97. Um, so that works out to just over a dollar, tannish or so per serving. So I'll get that up on supplementsource.ca. I'll get up on the site. As soon as the video is over, uh, throw it on the home big slider so people can, you know, they're going to, kind of going to see it. And when we send our flyer out tomorrow, it'll be the feature product. Um, but yeah, so we'll put it on sale. We'll let it run for a little bit until I get in trouble and I'm, and I'm told to, 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 you know, take it off sale. Um, but yeah, let's drive some sales there and, and get everyone to try it at least because I think once they try it and they see the results, the BCAs are going to set those aside and they're going to be moving more towards the EAAs because it's only logical, right? So Yeah. I really yeah. like using a BCA either pre-workout or during workout. But if I'm using a BCA, like say it's amino core, I'll take that one serving before I work out. I may scoop another serving during while I'm sipping on that. And then post-workout, I'll use the EAA. Or yes, yeah. I'll swap that and I'll go pre-workout, I'll go BCAA, then I'll go obviously muscle EAA during workout, and then post-workout I'll take another serving, and I do that with carbohydrates, some of the great carbs, yeah. there's tons of great carb sources out there. If you're on a keto diet, then obviously you're not going to want to do that, but if you're on a keto diet, you're going to want to increase the consumption a little bit more of the EAAs because you don't have the carbohydrates to spare the use of, of the protein of the amino acids. And a lot of people don't realize that amino acids themselves can be used to fuel your metabolism as is. So uh, a lot of people think, oh, it has to convert to a carbohydrate as is an amino acid, essential amino acid can be used in the Krebs cycle and can produce ATP. So it's, um, you know, if you're on a low carb diet, you want to increase your EAA consumption. Um, okay, so now going through the, the flavors here, two flavors here, very creative. The the candy keys is like those uh, those candies that you and I used to eat before we got into bodybuilding, but now we just eat it, but we don't tell anybody that we eat it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Or we pull a Chris Aceto and we have it right after our workout. Uh, and then this is the blue shark. shark. That's the, the the not the baby shark. I'm, I got uh, my son's baby shark tunes going in my head here. <laughs> we got the blue shark kind of cool reminds me of the, the sharknado uh movie um okay so going through this well, you, now, you do know about the official drink of shark week right oh okay okay oh, there you go, buddy. <laughs> yes i like it okay look are we going to put which one are we going to put to the test first taste test um well we could do i've already got the blue shark mixed up but i haven't mixed the um the candy keys yet we could do that one first Okay, let's do it. I'm going to use Big Bertha here. Oh, the Big Bertha. Nice. I like Big it. Big Bertha is going to be uh, getting M animated. There. Let's see it here. 
Okay. Now, 500 milliliters, you've got to mix it with it. Now, one thing for people at home, don't eyeball it. Don't just think, okay, I'm going to just drink about this much. The reason why is the supplement companies, when they're flavoring these products, they increase the doses or decrease the level of water relative to the best possible flavor, system, uh, flavor effect. So they say 500 milliliters, don't go 400 or 420 and then say, oh, it was too sweet. Or, you know, just eyeball it and put a liter in with your shaker cup because you're going to drink it while you work out and then say, well, I didn't find it was really that flavorful they've made a specific adjustment of the concentration to mix with this much water to achieve this particular taste, uh, taste effect. So anyway, there's my lecture for you guys at home who uh, eyeball it. Oh, are you going to dry scoop it? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to mix it right now. Oh, there's my 9.32 uh, 9 grams. There you go. Serving right. of Candy Keys Muscle EAA. And I'm going to mix it up now. It does mix very well, actually. Like it's not. It's, you'd be pretty hard pressed to find a clumpy uh, amino acid product. I'd be pretty surprised. But who knows, right? But All Max has uh, done a good job with this one. Okay. Smells good. That's the smell test. Okay. Well, I got to get my uh, my candy keys ready here. Okay. Hang on. I got to do a live so that people can see this powder drop in and see how easy it mixes. So we go there, sideways. Oh, you got a clear one, nice, there yes, go. nice. Boom. Yeah. See it drop in there. All right, okay. So let me just shake this up. Okay. Reminds me of Impact Igniter, the same color, a fruit punch type color. Uh, the yeah. igniter and amino core. I think they have a fruit punch flavor. It reminds me of this. Um, okay, so are we going blue sharks first? Uh, or candy keys. Candy keys. Okay. okay. Candy so. All right. Well, now we gotta go. Move okay. we'll your thing to the side. So go. Click. Toast. Toast. toast see, no toast. floaties. No nothing. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's good, yeah. Really good. Yeah. It's nice and smooth. I like that. I like that. Totally. It doesn't leave an aftertaste, which is nice. Really good. I taste this, that candy keys kind of flavor. I like a fruit punch candy keys. The color is cool. I like the color. Looks good. I mean, ZAAs. But when you're dieting, you obviously want to enjoy the hydration, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When you're dieting, everything's going to taste good. So, like, this is going to be even, you know, taste but overwhelm. Yeah. And it's not too sweet. I don't taste like it's mm -hmm. like a, a real candy key where you're like, you know, it tastes uh, tastes really good. Delish. That's, okay. that's why I like an intro workout. It's not overpowering. Like, you know, you're not sitting there like, oh, okay, I just had too much of it. I'm going to have to go to the water fountain now to, you know, chase it down. Yeah. It's kind of good in that sense. It's, it's light, but it, it, it's it's strong enough. No. Okay. All right. Now, the other one, obviously, Blue Shark. I want to say Blue Sharks uh, with an S, but Blue Shark. Just thinking of more Blue Shark. Oh, yeah, Blue Shark, yeah. Smell. Always good smell. Smells good. Smells like oh, yeah. Shark candy. Yeah. Oh, I like this one better. I like this one better for me. Yeah. 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 That's what I just said. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Wow, that's actually really good. And they didn't take a shortcut. You know, some of these companies they have a blue raspberry that they just call it blue shark. This actually takes yeah. like those blue sharks. This is yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. How many variations of chocolate have you seen? And it's always the same chocolate, you know? Chocolate supreme. Yeah, chocolate okay. explosion. You know, it's yeah. always <laughs> just the one one flavor of chocolate, but. Yeah, and all much did they actually, you know, worked on a good flavoring system there. Now you touched on something earlier that I noticed on the back of their label, if we really see, informed yeah. choice. So informed choice tests for over 200 banned substances. And although 
you know, at Muscle Insider, you know, we're sort of full throttle when we realize that competitors and things use performance enhancing drugs. And we don't have a, a problem with that. That's the nature of all professional sports have some of that in it. But what I like about uh, Omnix's products being informed choice tested is it shows that you know what is in the product is in the product, what's not in the product is not in the product. So you don't find things like SARMs and things like that, that you know that could end up in supplements because of cross, cross contamination. At least you know that this product's been screened so that um, you're not gonna have any athletes, collegiate athletes, NCAA or anything like that, that are taking the supplement and then uh, you know getting a, a, a positive test for, for a performance enhancing drug, but it also, lets me realize that they take quality control serious enough to get a third party independent company to lab test this. And that says a lot, it costs more to do that. But yeah, I was gonna say, it's not cheap. Like yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so going through this, um, another thing that's in here, now this we should have touched on a little bit earlier, but mediator PA, so this is a phosphatidic acid is an ingredient in here, 400 milligrams of that. And this is actually in, uh, added there to help you build more muscle. So there's actually two clinical studies on this ingredient. One test subject gained 12.7 pounds, or sorry, 12.7% 12 increase on the squat and 2.6% increase in lean body mass. A separate study, so this is two studies. A separate study found that uh, people gained twice as much muscle when they consumed uh, phosphatidic acid than those who didn't and actually yeah. reduced uh, body fat. So what I like about what Allmax did is they didn't take the approach that I've seen other companies do where they just say, okay, BCAs are three, let's add six more so that we've got all nine. They actually figured out what ratios to have together and they added these two other ingredients to it, which I'm gonna get on the second one in a second, but they added this extra ingredient here to build more muscle increasing protein synthesis and it makes sense if you provide the precursor to building muscle which are eaas with something that increases mTOR and increases the anabolism from your training then you're going to get even better results from this eaa than just a regular eaa so um now the last ingredient in here the second ingredient which is you put 400 milligrams of something now bear with me on the pronunciation but it's salaginella yeah Tamaricina. I can't say it better than that, but yeah, uh, that's about as good as I, as I can say it too. It sounds like salmonella or something, but it's no, it's yeah. Salaginella Tamaricina. And this actually uh, is involved in increasing nitric oxide and improving blood flow because it uh, is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor. Phosphodiesterase inhibitors help blunt the enzymes that are involved in constricting your vessel, blood vessels. So if you're drinking this pre workout or during workout, the idea here is you're helping to increase uh, blood flow. And if you can increase blood flow, as Milo Sarfs have talked about with having anabolic blood, when you're training, you're increasing blood flow to the muscle, that's gonna allow you to deliver the essential amino acids to the working muscle, which is gonna help recover it during post-training. So uh, kind of cool. So don't just look at price when it comes to this product. You talked about each serving being, was $1.13 a serving? Yeah, about that, yeah. But you got to look at this isn't just an EAA. This is actually an EAA plus two other ingredients that are going to make it even better than just an EAA. You're going to get better results from this. So uh, kind of cool. But anyway, I'm going to shut up for a bit. But uh, let me let let me tag you in on uh, what are your thoughts still on muscle EAA? Well, uh, you know, typically I always have a little surprise for you at the end of these. So I just uh, I'm sure you're aware and everyone else is aware. Uh, of the trend in branch chains when they first came out, um, it was just straight branch chain. Um, and what they did after that was they added uh, an energy component. So they would go with a caffeine or something like that. So what I've been personally doing is, let me get the right flavor here. I take my Blue Shark Muscle EAA and I combine it with, with another, my Blue with another berry. With A cuts. Oh. With A cuts. Yeah. So I'm getting a little bit extra aminos in there, but I'm also getting the energy component. And I think you're probably going to see that trend continue into the EAA market because it was so popular with the branch chains. 
Um, uh, I, I think it's died off a little bit because people just, you know, some people want the energy or they're just going to get that from their pre-workout, but there is still a market for it. And, and I like it. So when we talked earlier on your non-training days, like I'm, I need my caffeine to get going in the morning. Like yeah. that's just who I am. And, um, what I do is, like I said, I'll mix my branch chains or my, uh, muscle EAAs yeah. with my A cuts and I'm going to get a nice sustained release of energy and I'm getting my aminos. Um, I think that's, you may see that in the future as a, a future formula. I don't know who knows, yeah. but it, th that's just the, the trend of the industry with the BCA. So it's only logical to assume that someone's going to come out at some point in time with a energy uh, boosted uh, EAA formula. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's really, those are kind of like my, that's the little final thoughts. I just, you know, right now I said, you know, we've got it. We're going to have it on sale shortly. Uh, supplementsource.ca. If you haven't been there before, check us out. Um, we are the king of clearance in Canada. So we have not only below out products at really unbelievable prices, but we're going to have all the new products too that you see like muscle EAAs, uh, meal prep, uh, anything that comes to market, uh, we like to carry, uh, and we try to get in there. Um, we don't always get it in there, but most of the time we do carry the products that most uh, everyone wants. Now, how many different like supplements do you guys have? Did anybody ever do a count of how many? Because I have not been to any other website where I've seen such variety as what I see with what you guys are doing. Like, and you see things you never. You're like what this this is like where did you get this sort of thing because I, I i mean you and your wife are always on the hunt for these new things and i always call them up and i'm like hey dan what's the newest pre-workout what's the newest eaa hey did you hear about all max all max has got something coming man i got the yeah. you always have that scoop so how many different products do you have on that website oh we just did it did inventory too last week and i probably should know the answer to this but <laughs> well over a thousand like you know lots like it just we're, we're pretty open like if you want to if you want to sell on our site come on over we'll put you on and we'll give you a trial and, and if it goes well, well we'll load up um but yeah it's we want we want we want options for our customers we just don't want to steer to like the top 10 products you know and that does good don't get me wrong but there's always triers and buyers and if you have the latest and greatest thing there's always going to be a market for the guy that wants to try you know i married a woman that's what she is she wants to try the latest and greatest she wants to see what the new bars taste like the latest protein powder she wants to try it so there's always a market for that and that's who we want to you know that's who we want to reach out to and and, and service we, we want to be the, the guy to go to not only for blowouts and clearance but also for new products and innovative products. So stuff that's going to really, you know, uh, affect the way that people uh, train and uh, affect the way they look. We just want people to have a positive experience with us and which is obviously is going to go to a positive experience in the gym. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? And I was really glad that uh, I see anything. I anytime I see Almax come up with a new product, I see it very quickly. I see it on supplementsource.ca. And I, you know, for years I was using Amino Core. I've done reviews for the product for so long. A cuts, obviously. I think I think single handedly is one of the best tasting powder oh. drink mixes. I think of yeah. anything that you can drink. I would drink that over Crystal Light. I would drink that yeah. over Kool Aid, sugar free Kool Aid. Like you can just drink that stuff and just enjoy the the hydration, and, and you drink more and more of it because it's so delicious to drink it. And, um, but I was glad that uh, Omax didn't sit on the laurel of Amino Core success because it's a huge product. And they say, oh, the oh, yeah. EMA market's yeah. starting. No, 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 no. Let's not get in it. They, they sat silent. They didn't advertise that they were doing it. Behind the scenes, they came out with this EAA product. And what was so wild is, if you look back, is Muscle EAA launched globally. Boom. Everywhere. You saw it in the States. You saw it in Canada within a few weeks of each other. And I like yeah. that because now it shows me that they were thinking about this a year to a year and a half out, following this, perfecting it. They come out strong with it. And um, I was glad that they had both offerings because Amino Core is a solid product. It's great, has a great following, great formula. But this one is obviously now the EA is a little bit more expensive because you're getting more, as you said, you're getting six other amino acids in here to complete the nine. You're getting the total nine, the spectrum of nine, you need two additional ingredients to help anabolism. 
And uh, I think having both options is great. I like how you stacked A cuts and muscle EAA. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I think they uh, definitely hit it out with this, hit it out of the field with this product. And uh, I definitely think uh, they've got a winner for sure. I still can't stop drinking this uh, Blue Shark though. <laughs> I'll have my carbonated version right there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to try that one. Is that your carbonator? Let's see this thing work. That's carbonated. It's just like a normal. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see the bubbles or not in it. Oh, yeah. All right. I like it. I'll do shake it up a little bit. You'll, you'll hear it when it, uh, hopefully it doesn't overflow. But... <laughs> well, I popped in time. I popped in time, buddy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so I just sip on that during the day, but yeah, great. And mostly, uh, you just you can't go wrong. And like you said, let's face it, you can't budget bodybuild. That's just the way it is. I find BCAs too have been a bit commoditized. Like they're just there, and they're there. But if you need nine, then what about the other six? And if you're under under extreme dieting, then you really don't want to be losing any muscle mass. And a lot of people just sip BCAs to be able to keep themselves anabolic. But if you're shortchanging yourself by not having some of the other essential amino acids that are needed, then pay a little bit extra money, get that product, uh, you know, and you can obviously have it. If you're on a tight budget, there's products that are more economical, amino cores for people who just amino want to yeah. and there's a few other amino acids in there. But I think that um, for those who want the maximum amount of protein synthesis, uh, growth from their workout and recovery, then Muscle EA is definitely a top-notch product from a top-notch company. So certainly the way to go, yeah. So anyways, the fans should be going to allmaxnutrition.com if they want to learn more from Allmax. Obviously, checking out muscleinsider.com. And if they're buying products, supplementsource.ca. And let us know what the handle. Is it is it at supplementsource.ca? Is that the handle that they should be? Oh, check my out? Lord. You ask me this every time we do this, Scott, and I, I can never remember. Hold on. Let me pull it up here. I already got it. At, there you go, man. <laughs> CA <laughs> is what you guys got to be checking out on Instagram. You guys also have a YouTube channel and we're checking out. Uh, what I like about Supplement Source is some of the fastest delivery you can get in supplements in Canada. Best selection, phenomenal pricing, great deals. I get the email blast. Um, so it's it's uh, a very, very good selection. Some of the deals are, are insane. I can't tell you how many times I forwarded that email to friends of mine. Like, hey, uh, here's the inside scoop, <laughs> you know. But, uh, and, and, and safe shipping too. Like we follow, like we're totally, you know, COVID compliant in, in the warehouse. Let me tell you, we spent a lot of money on that. So, you know, the, the guys can be certainly, uh, the customers can be certainly uh, assured that they're going to get a safe product. Like they're not going to be any issues with it or anything like that. And they'll get it quickly, like you said, which is great. Okay, so listen, overall, Scott Welch from Muscle Insider, Dan Kennedy, Supplement Source, are we going to give it like two thumbs up to Cisco and Ebert, kind of like... Oh, yeah, easily. Okay, two thumbs up is exactly two what thumbs it is. Okay, yeah. thanks for checking out this review, and check out your products got them for a great price at supplementsource.ca. Thanks again to everybody for checking this out.